there. In this tutorial, I am going to go through importing a DVD using DVD Shrink, and then I'm going to show you how to open it in Sony Vegas. So first, you you know you pop your disc in there, and you would say open disc, and that is okay. It goes through the preview. You want that to happen. Okay, so once you go through that, now if you wanted to extract this DVD and maybe make another DVD, like backing it up, you would do it um, a different way. But in this case, where you want to take your file and then take it into Sony Vegas and edit with it, you want to do it this way, reauthor. And then so what it's done is broke it down into your chapter. If you had multiple chapters in your DVD, then you would have title one, two, three, four, etc., which makes it awesome for editing. It's by far the best way to do it. I had researched a long time on how to do it, found out how to do it, was going through the steps, but once I got into Sony Vegas, I didn't know what to do. It's just one tiny thing that you were probably missing like me. So now you do this, you just say back it up, and then you find the selection, uh, your folder and whatnot, where you want to put it. I'm just going to say desktop and uh, say OK. And now right here, you want to have this unchecked. Say OK. It will go through this, um, and you can see it's going to take, you know, maybe uh, probably less than that. But we'll come back. Okay, you can see it did not take that long at all. You would go into import, and I'm not quite sure on other versions of Sony Vegas, but I am working here with the 11 Pro, you can see, and it obviously does it. So now you just go to the appropriate folder and, oh, see, you would look in here and you would think it's blank. Oh, it didn't work, it didn't happen. But you have to type in this exactly. So you have to type in the little star dot capital IFO, enter, and then they appear. Here they are. Once it's in there, you drag it on down, and here it is. Now, maybe this isn't the best example. But when you import a DVD, and if you had multiple tracks, then sometimes there's a gap in between your audio tracks. And this is the way to eliminate it. And so then when you bring it in, even though my audio track looks uh, a little different here, like it's all leveled out, which I don't mind. But in some scenarios, maybe I would, you know, pull in my original audio file like the AIFF or something that I created or an AC3 or whatever it may be. Um, so this is just a DVD that someone gave me to make and here you go. So you would not have to go anything fancy if that's all they had. You would just import the DVD into Vegas. Once you're done with this, then you could render it out as an MPEG. You could re-render it out as an AVI, I guess, if, you know, sky's the limit, whatever you want to do with it. Okay, well, get creating.